Hey guys, warm welcome back to the channel. My name's Grace if you're new here, and today we are in my bedroom. So eventually I do plan on doing an entire house tour, a lot of my friends and family back home especially, but I'd also like to put a tour up for anybody that is coming in to live on Okinawa, specifically here in Washington Heights on Kadena, which is where our house is. Um, and it's almost ready. There's a couple things I'd like to get just, you know, to be able to style it and stuff like that. Uh, like we, right now we don't have a dining room table because I'm holding out for the one that I really want. And I just want to make sure before I bite off something that large that, you know, we're, we're saving for it essentially. Um, so as you can see, really basic white well they're not even white they're like a weird off-white wall um some beautiful artwork that my grandmother david's grandmother um got us from one of the cruises they were on it is still probably my favorite piece in the entire house she's a moon goddess um and kind of on that note this is my altar so for those of you who don't know i am wiccan or at least a version of Wiccan, and we won't get much into that kind of thing because I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but what might be everybody's cup of tea is my absolutely beautiful gemstone collection. So today I thought I would kind of walk you guys through what I have, and then maybe we will do a sneak peek of this guy who is there's probably over a hundred stones in there. I individually packaged them for our trip here because I didn't want anything to happen to them. And I thought it might be fun to go through it because it's like its own little goblin hoard too. So I have a ton of books, moths, all of that. And I thought I would run through at the very least some of my favorite pieces and just kind of show off my little collection over the last at least 15 years maybe 20 if you count some of it but yeah so first things first as i sit here on the floor uh so my dad built this for me this triangle thing i'm sure you've seen a lot of them on like instagram maybe even you know some TikTok or something like that uh, but he made this for me and it is so much more beautiful than anything I could have bought in a store and a lot larger than I could probably afford this shelf was just a thrift shop purchase back in Holloman um, this moth it's kind of hard to see because of the glass but I found that in our garage at one point um, back also at Holloman. So I've got a bunch of books. Uh, some of these are like the history of stuff. Um, a couple of them are like uh, how to's and laws of attraction and then some of them are just like a lot of the crystal books where it just lists things out for you. Um, I would recommend any of the things on my shelf because I'm very picky about what books and things that I I keep especially but that I use even more so um, this is really cool and I'll show you a couple more things by this same artist um, so I don't know really how much to get into this but uh, I really love the artwork in this book and as you'll see right here uh, these cards that I use to kind of do my daily or weekly prompts, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, they all came from this book. Oh, hi Pixel. And uh, you just, you, you tear them out of it. But I'll link that below. I really love their stuff and I'd like to do something like it of, on my own one day, make my own cards. But you can go through and cut out these. She had some coloring pages in it. These mandalas are beautiful. Uh, some rune stuff. I actually have this one tattooed on my wrist. Always take a little bit of home with you. 
uh, some divination stuff. But anyway, like I said, we won't dig too much into that. I just wanted to kind of show off a little bit of my collection. Um, I thrifted this beautiful mortar and pestle. It's brass and heavy, heavy, heavy. And it must have gotten some serious use because I don't know if you can really tell, but that bottom is so curved from being mashed in so much. I usually, I don't put any food stuff in there because I'm not sure how clean it really can get after, I don't even know how old it is if I'm honest. If anybody has seen one of these, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know a bit more about it. Uh, all of my tarot decks, I love this like, it's supposed to be a drawer pull or like a towel hanger or something. But I like to put some rings on it and stuff sometimes. Um, this little frog. The athame I use. And I made this wand out of a piece of twig in the backyard. It's got some amethyst and some blue agate on it. Some dream journals over here. I really like to try, at least, to journal some of the most important dreams. Especially if I have them over and over again, which can happen a lot for me. Alright, and then this is like my little book that kind of has all of those gemstone meanings. Uh, it's usually when I buy stuff off of Etsy especially, you know, they always send you a little card. This is actually a card my mom got me and I kept it because I love the moons on it. Same with this one, my dad got me this one. But just anything that's got a moon, I tend to keep it anyway. Uh, and then these are where I store the cards, like I was showing you here earlier. Alright. Put that up. Beep, beep, pickle. Okay, some brass bowls. I also thrifted this. It's got these beautiful animals etched into it. And then I have one that sits on my bed. It's got my little candles and eventually when I get around to buying some more witch hazel, that is a pillow spray. I put lavender essential oils in it and it smells amazing right before you go to bed. Helps you relax. This is my crystal ball. It is real. Took a long time to find one for whatever reason. Uh, I keep it covered, not because of weird spirits or anything, like people like to say, but because if the sun hit it absolutely perfectly, it could maybe burn your house down. I've just heard that as a weird thing. Alright, so this, I, I can't remember the actual location. But it was at an Airbnb that I stayed with um, my brother and sister-in-law in Pisgah National Forest. It is a wild turkey feather. It's really cool. This is from Holloman Air Force Base out in the New Mexico desert. It is a cactus or like, well, what's left behind and I just loved its structure. They do all kinds of pieces of art with these in that area because they're they're like really strong it's like like a branch I will try to put up a picture somewhere on the screen of what they look like when they are alive all right moving on I, like I've said many times before I love little things little bitty cute things which is why cards and stuff like that instead of great big posters are so nice for me. Uh, this was from David's grandparents' house. It's one of my favorite things. It used to sit in their downstairs half bath. And when they moved to the new place, I saw that she had it for sale in the yard sale. So I bought that from her. Um, we found these hiking. I'm pretty sure they're elk, but they may be they may be deer. They're pretty big to be a deer, though, I think. Um, some blue sandstone. 
All right, and then just some regular crystal here. I love this big point. I have a hard time finding large pieces for a decent price, so when I see them, I try to snatch them up. Um, one of my most basic looking rocks, this is from Holloman 2, it's just a piece of lava stone. They use it a lot in their um, landscaping. It's very porous and very, very lightweight. I just thought it was cool, so I grabbed a piece. A hagstone, found this hiking there as well. This is sedolite. You can usually tell the difference between sedolite and lapis or lapis lazuli because uh, this is typically more like a darker blue. And it usually can have some gray overtones and stuff. And then it typically has this white line that goes through it. And then lapis, like in my pendulum, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but it's typically got more of a gold fleck in it. I believe that's pyrite, but don't hold me to that. Uh, this is a bit more of an intense stone than sedolite is. And my dad also built this for me, my dad and my stepmom. These are doorknobs, and this is like a wormwood. It's so beautiful. And uh, it's usually for necklaces and stuff, which I do have this really cute turtle necklace on there, but I thought it just looked so good in this little corner to kind of hang stuff from. Uh, we found, not found, um, this was actually sitting out by the curb at somebody's house in Holloman, and I thought it would just look great with all of my other stuff. Um, beautiful piece of fluorite. All those purples and greens. It sits perfectly in that little spot. I love to collect uh, moths and butterflies as you'll see a bit more through here. This is the first thing I bought gemstone wise here in Okinawa and it's one of the little lucky cats that wave at you and it's just a normal quartz crystal. Um, I don't have many but I would love to have way more of these points. Um, rose quartz, tiger's eye, regular quartz, uh, I think it's supposed to be obsidian, but it could be onyx. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look at my paper again. And then way back in here is a really pretty piece of amethyst. I would pull it out, but I've got these little blue things keeping them from falling over so I can actually display them. Otherwise, every time a jet goes by here, they would fall over. Uh, speaking of which, these little mushrooms, this is a tiger's eye, and this is also a quartz, but it's... It leans a little yellow, so it could be maybe even close to a citron, just like really, really light in color. Uh, Labradorite, this is probably one of my favorite stones in the whole world. It's shimmery, it's blue-green, it looks like if you looked at a lake and saw the reflection of the forest. So beautiful. Probably one of the prettiest pieces I've seen too with all of these streaks through it. Love that. Okay, back in here. I'm not really sure what this is or where I even got it. This is like a... It almost looks like opal, but it's not got a shiny surface. It's definitely a stone of some kind. But I don't know if it's been coated in something or not. It's almost frosty. But it's an egg thing. Kind of kind of pretty. Um, some mica I picked up on that same trip where we found the turkey feather. Uh, the name of this is escaping me. Because Desert Rose and this one is the one I always confuse. But that is a Desert Rose. I'll show you that a little bit closer later. I forget the name of this one, but it's very interesting because of its structure to me. The cutest little frog. I think it's so adorable. I think I have another one somewhere here too, because I have the wooden one. I think this is rosewood, is what that lady said, but I can't, I can't remember. 
Not sure. All right, so back in here, we've got some sea stuff, a little piece of coral, a bigger piece of coral that my neighbor gave me that, and some sand dollars that she also gave me. I'm not really big on the beach. I'm more of a lake kind of girl, so I didn't really collect that sort of thing until she started giving stuff to me, but I, I like it nonetheless. Anything nature related is something I'm really into. Um, some more mica, these cute little brass dishes. Um, I used to have some air plants that sat in them, and they did really, really well in Holloman, but of course I had to get rid of those. So, sometimes I'll put some little stones in them. Um, I don't know what this one is. It's beautiful, but just like a piece of marble, maybe? I'm not sure. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. I've always wondered, and I've never really found anything online that looks like it. Uh, this geode. Also bought this in New Mexico. And it's very, very pretty. It's like a periwinkle color almost. Some selenite from White Sands National Park. If you ever get the chance when you're near Alamogordo, New Mexico, that is a place to go. Maybe I'll put a picture up here of it too. The other cutest little frog. Look at his little face. <laughs> uh, some smoky quartz. A huge chunk of amethyst. Very pretty. One of the very first things I ever bought with my own money that was like for this sort of deal eventually was this little onyx cat and I know that he's onyx I remember that uh, some more sandstone but the red gold variety um, bismuth very interesting can be very fragile the little pieces can break off pretty easy of it uh, another piece of marble of some kind some lavender and another moth back there this is opalite, not the same as opal, but close. Very pretty, almost reminds me of moonstone also, which I'm severely lacking moonstone. It is my favorite, favorite stone out of literally everything besides maybe a sapphire. And I've never found like a nice, just piece of it. I've got some in that that we're gonna unbox eventually, but nothing out yet and nothing very big. Uh, another geode. This is also onyx. Very pretty. Uh, a fairy quartz. It goes by several other names. I'm not, not really sure what they are right now, but I bought this one at the same place. I bought the geode here. Uh, this is actually a piece of petrified wood. Bought and paid for. Not taken from petrified national forest because we do not need bad juju in this house. Um, some little cactus blooms that I saved. Yeah, I painted this. This actually used to hang in my car before we had to get rid of it, but it catches the sun here in the morning so beautifully, so it lives there now. Um, some huge chunk of pyrite and then this is also the blue sandstones but it's a skull you can kind of see the shimmer a little bit better there so yeah if anybody has any questions I would love to talk to you guys about them uh, I'm not really making this channel for the witchy stuff but Sometimes it does go hand in hand, you know, when you really appreciate and love nature and all of your artwork is based around it. I feel like this is one of those really natural things that you just get into because it makes sense. But if anybody would like to know more, I would be happy to chit chat in the comments or maybe even do another video if I get enough people interested. Um, I'm what I would consider a baby witch, so 
I do things for me and myself and I don't really know if I have enough authority to share those things. But if you're interested, I might do that. So this guy is what we're gonna do next week, maybe. Y'all let me know in the comments if you're really curious because this has so many good things in it. It's got all of the little bitty crystals that I use for all of my stuff and lots of other, lots of other goodies actually. And it's like two tiers of those acrylic makeup things. So it is jam packed full. I don't know if you can see it in there. But yeah, if you're excited about that, let me know. It's going to be one of the next videos for sure. And then I figure while we're on the subject, these are some of the six millimeter bracelets that I wear on a pretty regular basis because you can't always carry random little stones with you different, different ways. Um, you know, some sandstone, some hematite. I don't think I have a piece out on my, on my altar for that yet some garnet so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that really quick tour of my little altar and uh, next week we will go through the gemstones and i'm pretty good at knowing what a lot of them are but i am going to brush up just to make sure um and that way it can be a little bit informative also and yeah so let me know what you guys think and Stay tuned, next week will be me finishing off the craft fair booth and then next weekend I will be going to that little craft fair, which I did find out I will not be selling at, but I'll give a better update this next Thursday. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, help me grow. Bye guys.